Bye, GCK family. Welcome to another episode of GCK Daily. We're happy you tuned in. Today we're going to do a little bit of a story time. And so I want to tell you a story about a villain who became a hero. And this villain's name was Saul. He was deluded and he was nasty and he killed the first Christians. And he went all over the place killing Christians, putting them in chains, throwing them in prison, and he had no mercy. And then one day he was on his way to Damascus to do even more harm to Christians. And as he was riding his horse, he encountered a really bright, shining light, and he was confused. And before he could figure out what was going on, he was having a conversation with God. And afterwards, he became a Christian. He was appointed by God to become a Christian. And that was how Saul's journey to Damascus was divinely interrupted. And he went from Saul the persecutor to Paul the preacher. So we all listen to the man of God now, and let's learn about Paul after this divine interruption. The past all gone, the past all forgiven, the past all forgotten, the past all wiped out, and now the present clean. The present good, the present glorious, the present challenging. This year will be the beginning of greater, higher, bigger things in your life in Jesus' name. He said, I was before a blasphemer, a persecutor. You know, he never thought of his own life. All he wanted to do is put good people down. Is put happy people down. All he wanted to do is put pressure on others who are aiming higher, who are going higher. He did. He wasn't doing good in the past, but he wanted to destroy all the people that had made the right decisions in their life. And then he himself said, "I was injurious. I injured people." I injured their feeling, I injured their lives, I injured their ladies, I injured their men, I injured all the people, I injured their office, I injured everyone, everywhere. But he thanked the Lord that all that injury in other people's lives, uh, people say, what you sow, you will reap. But then God said, Paul, come on here. Everything you sowed, I will approach. You will not reap them anymore. And the Lord is telling you, every bad thing you have sowed, every injury you have caused, every, blaspheme, every uh, blasphemous thing you have said, and every persecution you have made to other people, all the sorrow you have made to other people, Tonight, the Lord interrupts your life and He takes them out of your life. You become a new person entirely. And then He said, I did it ignorantly in unbelief. That man, Saul of Tarsus, he thought he was intelligent. He said, I discovered everything I called intelligence. I was totally ignorant. He said, everything I called knowledge, he said, I know they are wrong. He didn't know he was wrong. He thought other people were wrong. And therefore he was pursuing them and persecuting them. But he said, now the Lord gave me instruction. He gave me revelation. He gave me education. He said, as the Lord interrupted my life, he gave me a new education. Everything becomes new. No more guilt. No more doing the wrong things. No more harming or hurting people. God changes our heart, takes away our ignorance, and we become different. Oh, the beauty of divine interruptions. Let's keep listening. Education. The Lord will educate you. The Lord will instruct you. You will know that all those things of the past, you did them ignorantly in unbelief 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 you see paul uh, who was Saul at that time he was a highly religious man highly religious man he was a pharisee and he said if anybody was religious i was religious you see there are people maybe you are there and sh- I, you know, appreciate your life and I give glory to God for you. But you know, sometimes we can be sincere. 
uh, alliance of a particular person on the football field he was uh, very sincere and he was uh, driving the ball in the wrong direction and actually stored a goal uh, for the other team instead of scoring a goal for himself there are people who think they are sincere and they are trying uh, to score a goal for themselves but they are scoring a goal for the devil they are scoring a goal for the enemy they are scoring a goal for the opposing team but now as the Lord interrupted his life now he knew that I was in unbelief I was ignorant and then uh, I did everything injurious to other people but a time came in his life as he was going on the road to destruction the Lord stopped him the Lord when he comes to you and he stops you is for a good reason is to say you can do better than this you can climb higher than this you can be a better person than you have been and the Lord will do that in your life tonight better higher greater that will make you go from religious to having a relationship with God stop scoring goals for the opposing team and start scoring godly goals let Jesus interrupt your life for the best say yes to Jesus and do a, be a better person than you have been as the man of God comes on to lead us to a better life in Christ say yes to Jesus and experience a better higher greater life in him am I there what am I the Lord bless you the Lord interrupt your life tonight with power from heaven, with miracle from heaven, with salvation from heaven, the Lord interrupt your life tonight in Jesus' name. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord wants to begin the work now. He cannot begin until you give yourself to Him, until you say, Yes, Lord, here am I. I come, I come, I come. The invitation that will blot out all your iniquity and all your crimes completely. Heads bowed and eyes closed. He's interrupting your life now, and you are cooperating with that interruption. And you're saying, Lord, here am I, I come. Lord, here am I, I come. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. You raise up your hand, you look at your life. I don't like this past life. I don't like what I've been. I don't like the direction I've been going. This is not good. If I continue going that way, I will just be washed off with the, with the, with the water in the gutter. But Lord, I want to change. I want a definite turnaround in my life. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. God bless you there. God bless you. That's wonderful. God bless you there. A change is coming right now. If you are raising up your hand, please, please stand up and say, Lord, here I am. Lord, here I am. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All over the field, everywhere today, just stand up, just stand up. Where are you? Where are you? Are you thinking of it? Well, think of it quick and then respond because this is a great moment in your life. I'm still waiting for you. Are there? Are you there? On the right hand side, on the left hand side, are you there at the back? What you could not change for yourself, Christ will change change it for you what you couldn't uh, bring better and make better in your life the lord will do it yes for you and the lord will do that great thing in your life and turn you around a better life a brighter life a higher life what are you far to the back you are hearing the voice of the lord saying uh, why don't you respond now i invite you the lord invites you jesus invites you the savior invites you and the one who is going to forgive all your sins he invites you tonight just stand up there and say lord here i am here i am god bless you god bless you as you're standing up just tell the lord in in, in any way you can tell the lord lord make a new person out of me lord change my life lord i need your conversion lord i need your favor lord i need your merited favor lord i come i need your forgiveness lord i come i need your freedom that that's it that's it and the moment you tell him he'll do it he's been expecting you before you came and now that you have come is going to do it in your life tell the lord tell the lord lord here i am here i am here i am make that 
change in my life. I give you permission, my Lord, interrupt my life, interrupt the evil in my life, and that interruption will make you an incredible influence in this life. It starts today. Let me pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for everyone, man, woman, boy, girl, young, old. I thank you for everyone. I pray, Lord, you interrupt their lives with your grace, even this time in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, your unmerited favor will come to everyone. I pray your forgiveness will come to everyone. Your promise, your blot out all their sins. And I pray right now from their life, from their memory, from their mind, blot out all their transgressions in Jesus' name. And I pray that your goodness will come to every life. Let them know that you've touched them, you've transformed them, you've converted them. And from this moment, things will never remain the same anymore in their lives in jesus name thank you lord for the answer in jesus name we pray i rejoice with you interruption of healing interruption with miracle whatever you need is the lord is going to stop that sickness now you are blind or near blind the lord will clear your eyesight paralyzed broken bones the lord will touch you right now you're weak in your body the lord will give you strength healing where are you you raise up that hand you lay the other hand where you have the sickness just understand Look at all those people I read about. The Lord interrupted them with miracle. They were not even expecting that 38 year uh, old sick uh, man, sick for 38 years, just lying there. The Lord interrupted him. He wasn't the one crying out and crying and shaking and moving. The Lord will do the same for you. Not by marriage, by grace. Undeserved favor of healing of deliverance of miracle your life tonight in jesus name and after the final amen check up that thing will not be there anymore god will put testimony in your mouth this of that hand father will come to you you are god of love a god of mercy a god of power the God that cannot fail and the God that loves all your children, all your people everyone that you have created I'm asking Lord that tonight you touch everyone without exception in Jesus name I pray whether the sickness is small or whether it's big whether it's incurable or whether it is something treatable i pray lord tonight in your presence there must be power power manifestation manifestation of healing manifestation of deliverance do it in every life tonight in jesus name i pray lord there'll be the joy of healing the joy of miracle the joy of deliverance for every particular person in Jesus name anything that needs repair repair anything that needs recovery touch them anything that causes pain remove everything whether the sickness has this name or that name, long-standing or just uh, uh, just recently, I pray that right now you touch and heal every one of them in Jesus' name. For everyone. For everyone. Confirm that miracle. Confirm that healing now. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It is done.
Amen, you've got the miracle. Amen, things are not the same anymore. Check up yourself, you'll find your miracle is there. I was buried beneath my shame. Who could carry that kind of weight? It was my tomb. Till I met you. Thank you, Jesus. I was breathing, but not alive. Oh, all my failures I tried to hide. It was my turn. Oh, till I met you, Jesus, you called. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GCK Daily, Global Crusade with Queen. We are sure that this episode has been a great reminder of God's readiness to intervene in the matters of your soul and life. So please check us out at gckhq.org and connect with us via our social media handles. Please also like and subscribe and share these videos. We look forward to seeing you at the next episode of GCK Daily. We would love for you to join us at their next global crusade. Thank you.